Hi guys, I'm actually recording on my, my video camera for once. I'm not recording on my iPad because I know this is going to be a very, very long video and my iPad, when it gets too long, asks me when I upload the YouTube to cut it into sections and I hate doing that because I always miss out a bit of section. But this is going to be um, my WrestleMania tips video. Um, I know it was my first WrestleMania so I'm not a pro or, or a... What's the word? A, a pro in any way, or a veteran, that's the word, veteran, veteran in any way, but um, I've had a couple of requests just to give some tips and stuff, and I'd love to give you some tips because I'd love for it to go as smooth as it did for me. First things first, the WrestleMania packages come out in July, um, there's pre-sale and then there's a public sale. Um, for me personally, because I went in silver package, if it's your first time, I really would recommend silver package as, much, as nice as it would be to do the VIP package or the platinum package. It is a lot of money. If you have that much money, then that's fine, definitely, and you really want to do it, um, go ahead. But um, the silver package is such a nice wee package, and it gets you everything. The packages get you your hotel accommodation, your tickets to WrestleMania. Um, silver package gets you two general access tickets for the access sessions. Um, the accommodations for either three or four nights depending on what you want and it can get you raw tickets either in the level 100 seating or ringside and you get your Hall of Fame ticket with level 100 seating and your Wrestlemania ticket with level 100 seating and you get your $25 WWE shop online gift card with that as well. Um, so definitely silver is a nice wee package, it's, re it's quite affordable. And I went for the four night accommodation which was lovely and that also got me level 100 raw tickets in that pocket, in package, package, in that package. So, but yes, packages come out in July. So if you really are thinking of going, make sure you have enough money saved up because they will go on sale in July. Um, they usually announce how much they're going to be um, end of June, around that time. They go on sale mid-July. Um, also, if you're from UK, Europe, Australia, um, even the USA, book your flights early. I had so many problems with my flights this year. Just if you're going and you've got the package in July, even if you know you're going to get a, you're going to buy a package and you're pretty happy with leaving that, that book your flights so much earlier. Do book them in May or June because it will save you a lot of money in the long run because the flights just go up and up as you leave it longer. So definitely book flights early. <laughs> That's for going for everyone. Um, the WrestleMania um, this year in New York is on the 7th of April. Now, um, the WrestleMania is past there, WrestleMania 28. It was on the 1st of April. So what I did, I was trying to work out access session wise when access would start. And I looked a few past WrestleManias and they always seem to start on Thursday. And I originally, I was originally going to book to fly in on the Thursday night so um, I decided to fly in on Wednesday so I, it's probably going to be the same again so you've got the WrestleMania the Sunday which is the 7th then you'll have the access sessions on the Saturday which is the 6th the Friday which is the 5th the Thursday which is the 4th so if you can get in to New York on the 3rd of April that would get you set up if you wanted to do all the access sessions um, I flew in on the Wednesday before, the Wednesday, the night before the access session started and um, just got two wee nights in, the, in another wee cheap hotel in Miami because um, the hotel accommodation starts on the Friday. If you're doing the four nights accommodation with any of the packages, they'll start on the Friday and then you get the Friday, Saturday, Sunday and if you're doing raw on the Monday. So definitely, um, I flew in Wednesday, I was so happy, um, just get a cheap wee hotel for the Wednesday and Thursday night and you're sorted. Um, and then the access sessions, sorry, the access sessions, if they work the same as this year's did, um, it'll be Thursday 6 to 10, Friday 6 to 10, Saturday morning 8 to half 12, um, Saturday afternoon 1 to 5, and I didn't do the evening sessions, but... Um, I have a funny feeling they were maybe do 6 to 10 or something and the Saturday night and then Sunday it was the same do um, 
8 to half 12, 1 to 5.30 and there was no Sunday evening ones, there was just the two ones. Um, if you really want to do access, like as I said in one of my other videos, if it's your first one and you really want to get all the grass in, definitely make that a priority but I did regret doing the autographs so much throughout the week so if even if you can get a day where there's not many maybe one or two people you want to meet in that session then do that and then just do the attractions because I missed out on a lot of the attractions and I really regret that so definitely um, if you're there for autographs you're there for autographs go um, as I said American Wise they got text um, they'll probably do it again this year but they'll announce a closer time what you have to text to get the Joe before times who sign and where. Um, if you know who sign and where, go straight to that queue. Do not try and dander about <laughs> because those queues grow so quickly. So definitely, um, if you know who sign in or you see someone sign, just immediately go to that queue. Um, have your camera ready. Have your autographs ready when you get up to the front. If you don't have anyone to take your picture, ask one of the staff. If they're saying no photos, then um, just take while you're walking up the stairs just take photographs of them signing and um, what else yeah attractions do attractions try and get a day where you can just do attractions because the attractions are so much fun and uh, it's nice just to wonder why because I didn't get to see the memorabilia or anything or do um, the scene of rap stuff or jump in the foam pit or do the superstar entrance which I really regretted so definitely just take time out um, talk to people in queues that's another good thing and um, when, when you access Joe, you're all there for the same reason. You're all there to see the rest, the Joe WrestleMania, and you're all wrestling fans. So just, yeah, just talk to people in the queues, as the boys would say, make friends. <laughs> That's the thing with me. Um, definitely, um, if you're doing VIP, definitely make sure you're committed to the VIP. The VIP, to meet the VIP superstars, is a lot of money. Um, it's a well this year it was $131 and that's about tax and charge and stuff so definitely if you do if the names come up they announce the names I don't know must have been about January yeah January they mentioned it as a pre-seal is pre-seal and then public seal again and um, it was a mock-up on the pre-seal so just make sure you're completely committed to doing a VIP that you really 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 want to meet them if you can say you know, I don't really care whether I make them up or not then I would suggest leaving the VIP because it's a lot of money and a lot of waiting and a bit of a letdown to be honest for me just because there wasn't a lot of talking but the photos are lovely I it's such an honor meeting the guys but just make sure you're really committed to that VIP person like um, I wouldn't go and meet Randy Orton and or Triple H again that's just my opinion Joe I've met them that's me done if the Undertaker was signed yes I would pay $131 to meet the Undertaker but you just have to decide what's priority because the, the VIP queues do take up a lot of time and you've got other superstars Joe signed about so you just need to make sure um, definitely try and do the photo shoots in Access they're a lot of fun though you don't get autographs it is nice just to um, you do get the talk to the superstars and divas during the photo shoot Joe so just definitely have um have we got the photo shoots and the pictures come out lovely. So um I definitely recommend that. Um don't bring professional cameras or video cameras to um the access sessions. Um they do bag checks at the door and if they find them they um won't allow you in until you've got rid of it or put it somewhere. Um they won't let you in. They also won't let you in with food or water. So you have to buy water and food when you're inside and um, there is like food and drink stalls inside and there's big um hopefully in new york there'll be a big food place like there was in miami um so yeah that's that yes that's another thing bring um quite a lot of money um it's probably going to be the same as new york as it was in miami and i didn't realize the taxis um we had to get in miami um we had to get a lot of taxis to get between the convention center and the hotel hopefully it won't be the same in New York but still um, there will probably be a lot of taxi money you'll need in New York especially because it's New York New Jersey and um, just depending on where everything is set hopefully we'll have the convention center where access is going on near where the hotel is and the Hall of Fame and the Raw will be near where the hotel is just um, just be careful with that just bring 
money, um, especially for food and taxis, because food is quite dear in access. I'll say that now is a bit of a rip off, but um, definitely just bring extra money for taxis and food. Um, the shop, WWE shop, is great in there, so definitely bring a lot of money for it because they'll have a lot of exclusive stuff in there, especially the they'll probably have the I Was There t-shirt and hoodies and um, exclusive stuff for WrestleMania, so you definitely don't miss out on that. Um, WrestleMania itself, I don't know, it'll probably hopefully be closer again um, to the hotel. We had to get a bus ride there, so I don't know how that's going to work, but um, definitely if it's another bus ride, have a lot of fun on the bus, do chat with other people, start chants, do everything. Um, WrestleMania itself, um, what we did first was we got um, the take a while to get you in, so again just chat and make sure you bring something maybe to entertain you just um, for the time you're waiting. When you get in we went straight to our seats, found our seats, made sure we are um, so we could see where we are pretty much. Well, that's a good thing to do if it's your first rest, maybe you just go find your seats and then worry about getting do like um, food and drink. Um, again they do bag checks. So um, don't bring in any food or drink, you'll have to buy it there. Um, one of the first, first things I would do, because it was quite crazy <laughs> after we left it for a while, is if you are going to buy any merchandise, go to the merchandise stall like, immediately, because it will get bonkers crazy. Um, so definitely go there first. They usually have some new stuff up there. and I know they had the new Cena shirt up there when we were at WrestleMania, so definitely go there first. Um, if you're worried about not getting merchandise because it will sell out like mad. <laughs> so go there first and then worry about your drinks and your refreshments. Um, I think we got food like halfway through Wrestlemania, it wasn't too bad. Um, the beer, um, you're only allowed two beers, you're not allowed anymore so just be careful of that as well. If you're drunk or anything they'll chuck you out. Um, plus beers will rip off there <laughs> anyway, you don't really want to get we just got water. So yeah, just and um, just enjoy yourself at WrestleMania. You're not gonna be the, Joe. You might not be there again. So just go mad, bring signs, do whatever you want. Um, Hall of Fame is the same. I didn't get to go to Hall of Fame, so I can't really give enough tips on it. But I do know the boys were raging because they didn't arrive early enough. So go early. It opens at half seven. Be there for a quarter to seven or something. And no, just get there early and you might see the superstars and divas arrive. I'm not too sure what happens there. I'll leave one of the boys to maybe explain that in a video. Um, for the access sessions as well, I forgot to say this. If you're international and you've arrived on the Wednesday, um, say you've arrived on Wednesday afternoon, um, go to the convention centre and pick up your tickets from Will Call. We waited two hours on Thursday to get our tickets and we're a bit behind in the queue for VIP and stuff like that. So um, definitely um, if you're international, um, like from UK, Europe, Australia, the first thing you want to do is get to where the access is and pick up your tickets from Will Call so you have them all there. Pick up all your tickets, like any more general access tickets you ordered, your VIP tickets, um, everything, just pick those up because you'll regret it if you try and go on the Thursday or Friday night because the queue will be massive and also arrive early for the sessions like I cannot stress this enough like arrive about an hour or two hours early for each session we were there for about seven for the eight sessions we should have been there for about six actually because then we've got got um closer to, to through the front of the queue so definitely arrive about one or two hours before each access session starts and you'll be fine um, well, it's Monday, the hotel, yeah, um, the hotel's nice enough, just um, make sure all your stuff's ready in the hotel. Um, what we did was we packed our stuff um, for the next morning so that we literally just have to get changed into our clothes, um, grab our backpack and head to the thing, just make sure you have everything ready for the next session, what you're going to get signed, what figures you're bringing and anything else. Um, Monday Night Raw. Um, is in the American Airlines arena again. Get there about an hour before as well for that. Um, they do bag checks there, I think. I think I remember them doing bag checks. And again, if um, you want any merchandise, go to the merchandise store um, first on your way there and then get your seats and then you'll be fine. 
and um, bring science to that as well, it's awesome. And if you can get camera side, camera side's pretty cool. We weren't on camera side, but it was pretty awesome. Um, and then if you are staying a wee bit later in, in the city where West Mania is, like in Miami, we did, we stayed a week later, we went to Orlando, but if you're staying past the Tuesday night, the Tuesday night um, is smack down, and if it's close enough to New York, um, I would definitely recommend just staying in New York and going to SmackDown. If hopefully they'll keep it in um, in Miami, the SmackDown was down in Orlando. And lucky enough, we were going down there. So if SmackDown is close enough um, to New Jersey, New York, I would definitely recommend going to it because it's nice just to get the whole package to Hall of Fame, WrestleMania, Raw, the Raw after WrestleMania, and the SmackDown after WrestleMania. So definitely, if SmackDowns in around the New Jersey, New York area, I really recommend going to it um, and just book those tickets and usually those tickets go on sale around, I don't know, February, March, so, or February, February, around February, January, February, because I booked them for us, so definitely ha just keep a wee eye out to see where that Smackdown is. If it's in New Jersey, New York, I definitely recommend staying on the Tuesday night, just um, going to a different wee hotel a wee cheap hotel and stand for the Smackdown because it really is nice to have the whole package and to see all the shows and then just your flights back. So that's pretty much is my Wrestlemania tip video if you can call that Wrestlemania tip video it's gonna be so long. If you have any more questions really feel free to ask I'll answer anything. I know it's only my first Wrestlemania but I took so much in from it and I'll use that expertise if I go to any other Wrestlemania's. I've had one question quite a lot actually, am I going to Wrestlemania 29? And at the moment I'm not going to Wrestle twi to, uh, Wrestlemania 29 even though the boys keep saying I have to go. Unfortunately at the moment I'm not going due to some circumstances but um, hopefully Wrestlemania 30. I really would like to go to Wrestlemania 30 but we'll just have to see um, I'm on my placement year that year in uni hopefully over in America but we'll see what happens. So yeah any other questions just post them in the comments and I will try my best to answer so many um, and that's it <laughs> I think. So yeah comment if you have any more questions or if it's personal question that you don't want to comment you just want to ask me privately then message me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So thanks guys for listening I hope um, that helped you out if you are thinking about going to Wrestlemania 29 and I shall see you later. Bye!